piece. You know what? This one doesn't work for me. It's not powerful enough. But is this one? Who knows? Well, I do. A 2013 or 2015 MacBook Pro might be the best thing for you. It comes in a 15 inch form factor, meaning that it has a lot of screen space and a pretty decent battery. It has really good ports, including an SD card slot, HDMI, and a bunch of USB-A's plus MagSafe. So could this really be a viable option? Let's get started. We are, um, this is not the greatest background because it kind of looks like it's fun at night. That might be because it is, and that might be because I have no way of lighting things correctly, so I use phone flashlights, which suck. And basically, this is a new version of a new user on macOS Big Sur, the operating system that this MacBook is running currently. I have tinkered with trying to get it to run Ventura, the most recent operating system, and I do have a video on that coming out probably in a while, but it will be a good video, and we'll get this on Ventura. So first thing I'm gonna do is go through some system preferences. This is one thing they majorly changed in Ventura, and it's a lot more like the iPad and iPhone. I don't particularly love it, but it has some really cool things like desktop. So I think we have to set a good desktop, obviously. Okay, that's kind of cool. Also, by the way, this is Rick Astley's computer because I didn't think, couldn't think of a random name, so we got Rick Astley, baby. All right. So next step is there are a few settings I do like to change in Mac OS that really do bug me. So first, I don't know where it is on here actually. Um, I do not like showing recent applications and I do not, and I do like them only minimizing into the application icon because it, I just think it looks a lot cleaner. Um, I don't love magnification. Size is pretty big or pretty. I usually have it just fit the screen and then it works well for me. Um, I usually have it set up with like this stuff. I'm screen recording now, obviously, so I can actually have decent screen. You can actually see the screen decently. So that's kind of useful. Um, I usually put it on dark mode. I'm not going to just because why, but I do always, oh, I already did it, always increase the trackpad speed. It makes it so much easier to use and tap to click is just insanely nice. Also, displays always crank it up. Even though it will affect performance, it gives you a lot more space. Even though things are smaller, so if you do have trouble with vision or something, maybe not, not the best option, but it still is pretty good. Um, battery, uh, I don't really change that much about that. And then in general, I do like blue and small because I can read. Um, always, I use either Safari or Chrome, depends. Usually I have the default on Safari, but I use Chrome to upload videos and stuff because it's a lot quicker. Um, and then next I usually would clear out my browser. Chrome's useful. I hate this, how it does that. No, my least favorite part of Chrome. I get this. How it takes this, I hate this. This is like the browser saying, no, you're not gonna close this. We're gonna remind you, don't close it, don't close it. We want your information, don't close it, don't close it. Please don't close it. It's just annoying. Like, of course I'm gonna turn off. So I can set up Chrome. Um, I'm just gonna get started and skip all the stuff. I don't really care. Again, I'm not gonna use this as my main thing. Shut up. Okay, and we have Chrome. Basic, you know, big deal. Um, another thing I do like that I found a little bit ago is a lot of people complain about how Apple's you can't like drag an app in a corner and it'll do it. The best you can do is to right click on it. Oh, does it, it does not even work in, no. The hold on it and brings up this file system, which sucks. The rectangle, this app is insane. That is the one app that it wouldn't work with is launch run. Drag the cursor up here and boom, you have the entire app full screen in here, but you can still like go back and access everything. It's, it's just really convenient. So I, I am starting to dig this wallpaper. I might actually use it. All right, anyway, um, next we have to test it with a few things. Um, I don't really want to test it with Roblox because it seems like the fans are already not out. I just knocked over a light. Hopefully that looks about the same. First, like always, Minecraft. 
I'd test something more powerful like Fortnite too, but that's not working on here. There's no way. And I guess we can download Asphalt 9 because that's decently, that's like a decently game. What's happening? He downloaded the, it earlier. I guess we let it load. Yeah, it should be downloaded, so we can hopefully just click play, prepare, and then it should launch. Um, before we actually play, we're obviously gonna have to tune down the graphics and stuff because it loads all the graphics as the first computer that was on it, and I have my graphics settings set to really high because my computer can handle it. It's a powerful computer. No. Why did it do that? Oh wow, this is not. Hopefully this will work better. I have reduced that. I'm turning off the audio just because I do not want to hear Minecraft mobs. I do not like Minecraft mobs. Um, it is kind of glitchy. Oh, my world. Let's go. Sur nah, I can't play survival. I am horrible at it. Peaceful. Don't yell at me. I am horrible at survival. And we're in. I do test, only test Minecraft for gaming, unless it's like a specific main can you game, because Roblox is fun. Ooh, this is a weird spawn. This is kinda choppy. Maybe once I start playing, it'll get better. Is there any way to decrease the video settings while in the game? Like, I'd hesitate to say this is worse than the other computer, but maybe that was in 1.15. This is direct 1.19. So that could be another reason. We're in a spruce forest. Imagine I just find a um, wooden mansion. That'd be funny. Don't they respond? I'm probably stupid. Um, thought I saw an azalea. Alright. So this is not smooth. This is very choppy and not really recommended. This is like the fans are starting to go up. It does have integrated graphics, so it doesn't have any discrete graphics. This one has the upgraded i7, but an iGPU. So not the greatest, not bad. Ooh, ooh, I found a village. Let's loot the village. So I went around the village some, and I came to the consensus that this is not fun. The fan curve has actually gone down, so they're definitely spinning less. But I don't think this matters, because if you're gonna be buying a cheap computer, I don't think you're expecting 40, 90 levels of performance. This computer isn't really gonna be used for gaming and would probably just be used for browsing the web and watching the occasional YouTube video. And speaking of YouTube videos, click the subscribe button. But honestly, this computer is nothing to scoff at. It presents the magical effort of macOS as an operating system. It has some amazing apps on it and features such as texting, which I find um, really useful. And you can really use this for any productivity-based workflow, which is what Apple devices are designed for. I really think this isn't a bad computer, and if you like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you think your workflow and what you do would work on this, because gaming might not be great.